morning guys i am vlogging this week can you believe i'm doing today i'm working and it's light outside it is quarter to seven to be fair but um i'm actually running late i need to leave in like one minute actually i should have left like four minutes ago but yeah basically i wanted to do a week in my life vlog um because i know because of um coronavirus everyone a lot of people are stuck inside and self-isolating um so i thought it'd be interesting to do a work week in my life where i vlog and show you guys what i'm up to because i still have to go to work because i work in a hospital i work in healthcare and if you work in healthcare you pretty much still have to go to work and also i've gotten requests to do this video um because some people might find it calming um to watch you know what someone else is up to during this whole chaos that's going on in the world and um for me it's kind of business as usual so yeah i'm really not going to say much because i'm running late but um i will see you guys tonight after work oh my god i look like such an egg it is now 20 past eight i got back from work quite late because i finished late yeah my day was okay it was very calm until the last like hour um one of our patients had an incident and it was quite it was quite stressful come home feeling a bit stressed it's it's okay like when you have an incident it happens kind of early on in the shift or in the middle of the shift and then things kind of calm down again and then you go home thinking oh that was managed okay and it ended up being okay but when an incident happens right at the end of your shift and then you go home you go home feeling like i was driving home just like feeling like oh quite drained from it um but i am all okay not to worry guys apparently boris johnson is on the tv at 8 30 tonight usually he has his talks at five and i was like oh why wasn't he yeah, i asked my mum. she was like apparently he was in a meeting so i'm predicting that he's gonna come on at half eight and be like i've decided we need to lock down the uk shit's gonna get real like what the fuck we're gonna see what he says I'm just listening to Boris saying you must stay at home. If you don't follow the rules, the police will have the power <gasps> to enforce them, including through fines and dispersing gatherings. That's right. To ensure compliance with the government's instruction to stay at home, we will immediately close all shops selling non-essential goods, including clothing and electronic stores and just say we're on lockdown has he said lockdown yet it is currently 9 15 and i'm having my morning coffee so i thought i'd just sit down and i just like talk for a couple of minutes about what's gone on and everything because i can imagine a lot of people have woken up this morning feeling a bit anxious um or maybe that's an understatement very anxious because the UK is now pretty much on lockdown. Those are kind of the guidelines and there are already so many funny memes about it on Twitter. Like I cannot express to you, if you are not on Twitter during this pandemic, you need to get on Twitter. <laughs> these jokes are coming because boris is not serious enough i don't think boris johnson understands the british public this is what i'm going to say about the british public yeah in the world us lot in the uk are the funniest no one else in the world can beat british sense of humor yeah and that's that on that however at the same time the british public are also the dumbest in the world so many people in this country are just they don't take shit seriously they are so ignorant they still think it's okay to go outside what shook me is hearing that you can have the virus and not be showing symptoms for like 10 days and so you might feel like you're okay and that you haven't got it so some people who are stupid might be like oh well i'm i feel fine i'm okay to go out i'm gonna go meet up with my friends no you're gonna spread it 
like i swear there are about four brain cells shared between everyone in the uk you need to sit down and make people take you seriously you can't be dilly dallying there are still great areas this is why there are so many joke tweets about going on your second jog of the day you just need to say we are on lockdown i want to hear you say those words boris boris hello are we on lockdown yeah you need to say the words lockdown otherwise this british public is not going to understand it we're not going to process it we are going to be on twitter making memes okay and people are still going to be going out why because they're ignorant i don't know where this mentality comes from in british culture where people don't think the rules apply to them yes they absolutely fucking do like mother's day people were fucking out like in public spaces like fucking beaches were crowded why you're all so stupid it's in the air you know you can catch it from the air fucking stay away from each other we should have gone into lockdown weeks ago like i don't know if it's too little too late like this is long overdue so i am happy with what's happened at the same time of course it's scary because it makes things feel a lot more real and it makes things feel very serious us brits just we need to be disciplined we need to be told straight this is a lockdown this is not a drill stay inside your houses what's all this nonsense it's just the most british thing ever that he'd sit down and be like if your friends ask you to go out say no boris boris stop it stop it anyways today is my day off from work i'm working the next three days in a row and i think i will actually be a corpse by the end so i'm going to show you guys what i would do on my day off i made a list of things to do on my days off to kind of keep me busy and stuff so i like to do stretches every morning to start the day so i'm gonna do that after i finish my coffee and then i'm gonna work out from home this should be interesting i have not yet worked out from home since this whole lockdown business and since the gyms have all been shut i haven't done any home workouts so i need to get on it after my stretches i'm going to get into gym clothes and i'm going to try to figure out what i can do from home also i'm going to go for a run and it's a lovely lovely day so um that's the plan for this morning <music> I just stole this from downstairs because it's 10 kilograms I put it on the scales and I was like this would be good to use as a weight and I can hear my parents arguing downstairs my mum's like where is it I swear I put it here my dad was like you must put it somewhere else my mum was like what do you think I'm crazy why would I forget where I put it and they haven't realized that I've taken it here it is you could do lots of things with this you could hold it and do some lunges. You can do your squats. You can do some. You could. It's a bit of an awkward shape to hold. Do some. Oh, it's not got enough range of motion to do shoulder presses. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to order some weights off Amazon because. I can't be doing this. I need like, I need some, at minimum, I need two dumbbells for upper body to do back, shoulders, arms. Like I need to find a weight that will work for all of them. And then I might order like a kettlebell or something to do legs with, do like squats and lunges, or I could use the dumbbells, but I like to go, I, I'm stronger on my lower body, so the weights won't match up. Like I use lighter weights for my upper body than I do my lower body. So I think I'll order some dumbbells for upper body and then like a heavier kettlebell or even a bar. I don't know what Amazon sells for my lower body workouts, but I'm about to try and make do with this. I've just finished my workout. I feel good. I've got a sweat on. I'm literally about to leave the house for a run. I usually just walk really uphill and fast on the treadmill at the gym, not actual jogging. I prefer doing like the cross trainer or the stairs machine. 
so I'm not that good at running or jogging to be fair but you have to work with what you've got. I won't take the camera out but I might film some clips on my phone. Um, also follow me on Instagram because I'm posting on there a lot more of what I'm up to nowadays. I'm back from my run. It's a bit later now. It's quarter to two now. It was really weird because like there were quite a few people out jogging. I had to keep like crossing to the other side of the road to continue jogging because it was like otherwise I was gonna cross paths with someone and be too close and like I noticed other people were doing it to me as well like if someone spotted me they'd like cross the other side of the road as really a madness and I'm gonna make some food I'm gonna have my smoothie bowl because I haven't eaten yet today so this is the protein powder I use you can get it off Amazon um, I'll link it down below it's in my Amazon favorites page and then we need frozen berries or fresh berries whatever you've got I think we've also got some fresh strawberries yeah. The results. So we can use some of them up. About that much. You want to chop it so it's the first layer of your bowl is um, sliced bananas. That can just make up the base of your bowl. And then I take what's left and I put it in the smoothie mix. Can you smell the banana? You're so cute. Come here. Do you want the banana? Say hi Alfie. You want banana? I'm gonna give it this time. And then yeah you want to add some water so it all blends up. And then we're gonna pop that in the blender. We've got the smoothie mix. The second layer of the bowl, hang on, you're not straight, is granola. Um, so this is the granola I use. It's the Sainsbury's free from berry granola. It's gluten-free. Um, it doesn't have to be gluten free. I'm not gluten intolerant, but I like this one. Um, so I'll pour that over the bananas. So I'll pour that over. There we go. The bit that makes it so delicious is the peanut butter. I use the Sun Pat Smooth one, like raisins, dried fruit. Oh my god, where are the nuts? Mum, have all the nuts finished? All the nuts finished. They're all inside. Alta, Mum. Yeah, yeah, I mixed it because I couldn't find the like, nuts anymore. I just put some more raisin. Kaşıkla karıştır. So I'll just take some of those and, oh, I, could, I spotted an almond. Get me that almond now. And I'll put that on the other side. Do we see the aesthetic? Like that. It is four o'clock now. For two hours I've just been on my phone and I'm feeling very bored and I don't know what to do with myself. And I knew that this moment would come. So for, for when this moment came, I had made a quarantine list. I'm gonna share with you guys because also it can give you some ideas about what to do to occupy your time during this pandemic and lockdown and whatever. For the past two hours I've literally just spent it on my phone and I'm like, wait, I can't do this all day. Can I? I mean, I probably could, but I was like, it's not good to do that. So I've seen a few people make lists and share ideas of what you can do during quarantine time. But I've said this before, I've said it, I said it in my last video, I've said it on my Instagram. It's all about your mindset, guys. And like, this is a horrible thing that's happening in the world right now. It's complete and utter chaos. I'm not gonna deny that. And I'm as scared as the next person about what's going on. But at the same time, you can still be positive. You can only control yourself and your outlook on a situation. 
so why not think to yourself right this is a horrible thing that's happening it's so disruptive but let's try and make something positive come out of it and work towards things that you want to achieve now that you've got all this spare time at home learn how to cook learn a new language utilize this time to achieve things that you didn't have time to achieve before so maybe you used to play an instrument and you forgot how to play it or you left it dust off that guitar dust off that piano in your basement and learn it again because now you have the time achieve your fitness goals um what else could you do yeah but just because this time is so worrying and it is a bit of it's like a disaster film isn't it it doesn't mean that you can't use this time to do something productive and something positive so i hope that's motivated you um but i'm gonna share my list with you guys now i've split the activities into different categories so i've got mind body soul chores and social media i'd say those are pretty good headings for everyone to have not everyone will have social media i just put social media because obviously i have a youtube and i try to be very active i'm more active on my instagram than my youtube i post on here like once a week but on my instagram i try to be active on my stories every day um so youtube and instagram like that's why i've got that as a heading because i want to keep being active on those platforms and interact with you guys if you have any other ideas let me know down below so i can add to this or maybe i could add a new category i haven't thought of i don't know um but yeah so today i've done quite a lot of body stuff because I stretched, I did an at-home workout and I went for a run. After dinner, me and my brother are gonna watch a film, so that's a bit under the soul category. And I'm gonna do my self-care tonight. I'm gonna um, do my nails, do a face mask, and I'm gonna fake tan tonight. And I know tonight is the best time to do it because I have three days in a row at work coming up. Do you know how dead I'm gonna feel? So I need to feel like I need to do this stuff now. I'm not going to have time to do a face mask over the next three days. I'm going to feel dead by the end. It's not three 12 hour days in a row because that's the shift. You have to count what time I get up and what time I get home from work. It's 15 hour days because I get up around 5.30 it's around 15 hours three 15 hour days in a row yeah it kills you so tonight is the perfect time like to get that stuff sorted because i won't have time to do much self-care over the next three days to be honest so between now and after dinner when me and my brother watch a film i'm just going to be doing like organizational stuff so um, mostly social media stuff. I want to plan YouTube video ideas and also I need to think of some TikTok ideas. It is dinner time. I'm so excited to eat this. This is just just pasta and tomato sauce but I added Biolife grated cheese and like melted it and then these are Sainsbury's frozen vegan chicken pieces. I think we're all gonna watch a film together. It's gonna be a family thing, a family affair. It's kind of, I was saying this to my friend, it's kind of like it's Christmas again, where like you're all forced to spend time with your family. And I'm sure pretty soon we're all gonna be like dusting off the board games and stuff from Christmas and doing that. Cause what else is there to do? I put this like tanning serum in my moisturizer, which is why my, it's made my skin look clearer. I'm not wearing any makeup at the moment, um, but it just adds a bit of color to your face, but what, it doesn't match like the rest of my body. So I need to fake tan. Guys, we are watching Jumanji on Netflix with, um, what's he called? Robin Williams. Yeah, RIP Robin Williams. It is nine o'clock now and it is self-care time hence why i've put this on um i'm gonna do my face mask first before fake tan because um 
if I do fake tan and then face mask and I wash off the face mask and the water runs down your arms and then the fake tan is ruined, etc, etc. This is actually a new face mask. Um, I got it delivered like yesterday or the day before yesterday. It's from The Ordinary. I thought we'd, we could do it together. Um, now, my skin has gotten like, it's so weird, guys. My skin has gotten so much better recently. Like, my forehead has not been this smooth in months. There is like no texture on my forehead. It's perfect. And this cheek is perfect. And then my chin and this side has just been like, fuck you. I don't know what I did in a past life to deserve this. Does anyone else do this bit? Because I used to never do it. And then I saw people were doing it. And I was like, oh, why would you leave that part? But then I think, why would you need to put a face mask on the part above your lips because you don't really get spots there or do you right now leave on for no more than 10 minutes otherwise i can already feel it working actually it's stinging a little bit so i'm gonna go quickly check on the time to make sure i don't burn my face off that's honestly the last thing we need right now it is Wednesday morning. It is almost 20 to 6. I woke up around quarter past five and I've washed my face. I washed off my fake tan. I've just come downstairs for my morning coffee. Um, I actually slept quite well last night. I feel quite rested for getting up at 5.15. Okay, I'm almost ready. We about to go to work today, ladies. Okay, guys, it's 20 to 7. I'm about to head out. It's a beautiful day. Um, my body is aching from yesterday because, you know, when your body's not used to working out because I hadn't been to the gym in so long because of everything that's going on, my muscles are not used to it. Oh my gosh, I'm aching. I didn't have time to do my stretches this morning. To be fair, I usually don't. When I'm working, I don't have time in the mornings. Um, but so what I do is I just stretch at work. Um, so... I'll end up probably doing it at work. Hopefully it should be a good day. As you guys know, um, when I vlog days where I'm working, I don't vlog at work. I leave my camera at home just because of privacy reasons. I don't wanna like give away where I'm working and it's just a big no-no to be filming at work. So um, I will see you guys tonight. Okay guys, I am home now from work. It is... Well, I got home a while ago. It's now 9.30. I don't even know what to say or where to begin because I can't say too much because of patient confidentiality and all that. But um, basically one patient is very fixated on me and it's very inappropriate. I said this in my um, like my job Q&A is that someone asked like, how do you deal with patients if they're like inappropriate with you and stuff? Um, you just have to try and put that distance there. So like the nurse in charge made sure that I wasn't on any of that patient's observations. So I was with other patients all day. Like even so, whenever I was, whenever I was like in sight, like that patient would follow me, try to talk to me, be inappropriate, like saying things that you really shouldn't be saying to staff member and stuff. And it's just like, it's quite draining because it's like there's only so many times you can tell someone that it's not appropriate and that like, you know, there's only so many times you can put boundaries in place and there's only so many times you can repeat yourself and it's like just not going through to them. And then there was a bit of an incident at the end where like they just wouldn't end up leaving me alone and pretty much I ended up having to be smuggled out of work. I was like, how am I gonna leave the shift? When it comes 7.30 p.m., how am I gonna walk out? of this ward like this patient can't see me it's not like i had to be smuggled out of the ward so i'm in tomorrow and friday but i have a very strong feeling that i'm going to be sent to a different ward which is really annoying because if you work in healthcare you would know that when you're sent to different wards it's just it's the worst thing everyone hates being sent to a different ward because you get so used to your own ward and like you know the patients and stuff when you're sent to a brand new ward like you don't you're not really familiar with the patients it's just a bit shit so i'm a bit gutted but also i know that it's the right thing both for me and for the patient also i came home and my parents were like so how do you feel about 
still going to work and i was like fine they were like well do you think you should just stop going because um we don't want to take the risk of you catching anything i kind of don't think about the virus that much because i'm preoccupied with work while i'm at work but then it's like i come home my parents said that to me and it just it's just hit me like shit i am actually putting myself at risk still going to work but then i'm like who is going to look after the patients we can't just leave the patients what the fuck is going on so yeah all in all i'm just a bit stressed at this moment in time guys so i'm gonna wash my hair dry it do my skincare and go straight to bed so i will see you guys tomorrow morning good morning guys it is a new day um it is seven no 6 35 at the moment and i've just gotten ready for work i literally can't be bothered today um we'll see how work goes today I have a very strong feeling that they won't want me on the ward for obvious reasons and that I'll be sent to a different ward but to be honest I'm very tempted if they send me to a different ward to just say look I'd rather just go home than work on a different ward because I've already I'm working for I've been put down for four shifts this week and like I'm fine with missing one of them to be honest like even if I take today and tomorrow off, I'm not that fussed because because of this whole self-isolation thing, I feel like everyone's saving a bit of money by not going out. So like I don't mind getting two days where I don't like where I don't get paid because I choose to just go home. I'm back from work now. It is ten past six, so a bit earlier than you might expect me to get home from work. I was actually sent home from work at 5.30 and told that I cannot work on the ward for the foreseeable future um i've had the most stressful shift um it's just been very overwhelming and i had a little cry in my car after i was told that news because it's just been it's, i'm just very i was just very overwhelmed today and the patient that's like fixated on me apparently was like all night like still fixated still talking about me and stuff to the night staff and basically the situation did not improve today um they tried to keep us apart but it's like it's not a functioning ward if i'm being smuggled around everywhere and people are trying to keep the patient up in one area and me hidden in another area and whatever because it's hard for me to do my job and obviously it's not healthy for the patient or for me and it's not safe for me either because like this patient is known to potentially be dangerous and what shit is that i thought that when they said like oh you could go to another ward i thought they meant just for like today or for the next couple of days like they were like no for the foreseeable future like you need to go and work on another ward and i was like what so like until this patient is discharged or until they miraculously get better or I don't know, maybe they will have a turnaround, but to be honest, I don't see it happening. Um, and their mental state improves. I'm not allowed back on the ward. I had to be smuggled out of the ward again because they were looking for me and like, it's not fair on my colleagues either. Like I've honestly felt guilty all day being in work because I'm like, this is causing everyone else stress as well because they have to work around me and like chaperone me from place to place and like try and smuggle me out and shit so it's just not working honey um so yeah i'm very stressed tomorrow i'm on a different ward and the thing is it's a ward that i don't really want to work on because i've had a few shifts on this particular ward and it's quite a, quite an eventful ward like the patients there are quite badly behaved so I'm just not looking forward to it I just feel like I just hate the attention being on me and like I just feel stupid like actually being at work I was like I feel like I'm disrupting everyone's shift I feel like I'm being a nuisance so yeah that's it I'm home early usually by the time I get home it's dark it's still light out in fact I was considering even going for a jog I might do that, you know. When does the sun set? It's, what is it, quarter past six. Yeah, I might go for a run. That'll be a good way to relieve some stress. Decided I am going for a run. 
um, very rushed. I want to try and do it while the sun is still up. So, um, literally, like, all my work shit is still there. I haven't unpacked anything. But I just, I, I need to relieve some stress. Today has been very intense. I've had a little cry. And now I need to recover and do something healthy. And, well, crying is healthy. Sometimes you have to let it out. After today, fucking hell, I needed to let it out. But I, I'm going to go for a run. Good morning. It is a new day. Um, I am ready for work um i didn't really vlog last night but i did go for a run and then at eight o'clock everyone like came out and started clapping for the nhs um so that was funny because my dad was like banging on a pot if you follow me on instagram you would have seen it all no amount of concealer can hide how tired i am third day of work in a row it's just how it is I'm still quite low in spirit, to be honest, um, but it is what it is. I have the weekend off, so that should be nice. It is the right call, but I do think maybe things could have gone differently yesterday, but I won't get into it. I also do feel like whilst they're moving me, they also need to make an effort to find this patient a new unit because I don't think they're actually suitable to be on the ward that um, we work on because um, this patient like needs a different setup like they can't really they're not appropriate to be around females because i'm not the first well i'm not the first hca this this part this patient has targeted but i'm the first hca that they've targeted so much that an hca has actually had to be moved off the ward party next door's new album is out today that's one thing that's one positive that's one thing i'm happy about today i've been listening to party next door's new album this morning this guy got rihanna this guy got rihanna yeah i thought rihanna had retired into her shell and was never going to make music again granted this isn't her own music but for her to be featured on a song in 2020 wow i swear her last album was like 2016 or something like fucking ages ago i need to go i will let you guys know at the end of the day how my day goes um, don't be surprised if I get back tonight and tell you I've been assaulted. Bye. Um, I am on my lunch break. Um, just thought I'd let you know that I am alive. I am well. I'm just eating my lunch. I usually leave the hospital on my breaks. Well, no, I always do. I have been assaulted today. Um, I got punched and kicked. So I just, like, left the situation. Like, I just... I didn't run out because the patient wasn't coming for me like that, but I just left. So I was like, I'm not going to just be assaulted. My job is just so high stress. I just absolutely have to leave when I'm on my breaks. I can't sit at the hospital because then I don't feel like I'm really getting a break. Like, don't just need a break from my ward. I need a break from the entire vicinity. Currently, quarter to four. And I'm just going to sit in my car, eat my food, listen to Party Next Door, and just chill the fuck out. Hopefully the rest of the shift goes okay. I have a feeling it will escalate because actually what's happened this morning is supposedly quite calm for the ward I've been moved to. So um, we will see, and I will see you guys later. Okay guys, it is half eight. I got home a while ago actually, and I'm just making dinner. Um, the rest of my shift was okay, um, didn't get attacked again. The rest of it wasn't drama free, but at least I didn't get assaulted again. So that's that's um that's a positive um but i'm just so happy i have the weekend off honestly i don't know if i said this earlier in the clip where i was on my lunch break but like i was at the beginning of the shift i was actually like teary i was like i don't actually know if i can do this shift because i just felt feel like so much has happened in the past 48 hours at work with me it's just a lot to take in. I think I'm back in on Monday. But I've come home and it's just like a shit show. This is what happens when you're working during the pandemic. Because you go to work and you forget what's going on in the outside world. And then I get home and I'm told Boris Johnson has coronavirus. 
Um, cases of deaths in the UK have almost doubled within 24 hours. The US has over 100,000 cases. I'm like, what is going on? Like, I know why, pe I understand now why everyone is so like anxious when you're at home all day, like isolating, you're just hearing this news. It's shit. Whereas, cause I'm at work, I forget. Like I don't, like it, I, I don't process it as much cause I'm busy all day and I'm not listening to the news. I'm in my pajamas. I'm comfy. Um, I've had my dinner and this weekly vlog is now over. It is now like quite late. I think it's like approaching 10 o'clock. Yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here because I need tomorrow to edit this video to go up on Sunday as you're watching this. Um, I'll be putting this out on Sunday. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this weekly vlog and getting an insight into what it's like still working during this very bizarre period of time. Um, if you did enjoy it, make sure to smash the thumbs up down below, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video.